Hello, welcome to my channel. I am Deanna. I am an awakened empath and I am a light worker that encourages sensitive souls, the feelers, the healers, to self love first and encourage you all to step into your authenticity and finally in your life listen to your own inner compass, your heart, your soul, your intuition, and allow that to put you into your power of who you truly are and allowing those feelings and emotions to intuitively guide you through your life. I am coming to you today on November 20, what is it, just the day before the moon, new moon in Sagittarius. So today's Monday the 25th. A lot of times I cover the moon and um, sun phases because the moon is symbolic of our feelings, our intuition. It's represented by the, the feminine aspect of emotions. I am not an astrologer, but I do love astrology. So I integrate that in here with my encouragement for everybody to really be guided by, like I said, your intuition and um, encourage you to have self-love first. Uh, that allows us to really step into our authenticity, to be guided by that, to be the the one in charge of co-creating the life that you want. So thank you for being here. We are just one day prior to the new moon in Sagittarius. Currently the moon is in Scorpio, so you could be very highly emotional today. Um, just wanting to bring that to your attention. Before I get into sharing a little bit of things that I have printed out to share today with y'all, um, I'm going to get right into it because then we can get into our oracles. I also use oracle and started using some tarot to inspire us, to uplift us. So thank you so much for being here. If you're a returning listener, blast. Thanks for supporting me on this journey. I reach my hand out and give gratitude. If you're new, my sole purpose is to encourage you to self-love. And when you get done listening to my video, it, I'm hoping that it leaves you feeling more uplifted and encouraged. And so that's not my soul's purpose today and every day. I have in the past allowed emotions to be at the demise of me. And if you ask this empath, the deep, sensitive, emotional feelers are the ones that actually can make great progress on this planet. So it's up to us to step into our authenticity and really start being guided by that. The new moon, which falls at four degrees of Sagittarius, the Sagittarius new moon is a cosmic alignment with a stronger belief in self. It reminds you of your soul's eternal spirit to feel the magic in the mundane and trust the adventures. This is a strong rise, right? Because Sagittarius is symbolic of the centaur and the arrow shooting to the heavens. Strong rise in yourself with, with what is possible now. You are in Sagittarius season within the next few weeks and we have passed across the galactic center. So cosmic energies are potent and supportive for you to now rise into your power to embark in a new venture. The sun and the moon are also trining Cryon and Aries. Cryon is the wounded healer. Aries is self. This transit, I believe, was March of 2018 started. And that was really collectively where all of us feelers, healers, we're starting to unpack and release and go through a lot of transformation of healing our own wounds so that we can be in service to self and others. Always filling from your filling your cup first. So that's really what that's been pointing us to. Neptune officially stations direct in the day after this new moon. So for all of us, this is a strong trust in the unseen and the unknown so don't logically try to have everything figured out right now make sure that you're aiming for the bigger picture a lot of us have been deep diving and um 
really unpacking things that didn't feel authentic and genuine to us. If you haven't yet done that, you know, utilize this as my hand reaching out to you to always self-love first. We can't pour from empty cups. So, the new moon aspect. Um, so little. Sorry about my vision. It's still ex definitely... Um, still recalculating with all the energy that we got coming in and so as above so below you know just keep readjusting a new rep moon represents the end of one cycle and a beginning of a new 28 day cycle now listen the moon representative of the feminine the divine feminine if you're a female which we all have divine feminine masculine within us our menstrual cycles, our emotions, our feelings. That's why I always highlight on this channel, not only because I love astrology, but the symbolic meaning of it really representing, you know, the moon, our cycles that we go through. It's not to be looked at as in a bad thing. It's a good thing. Embrace those feelings and emotions. It represents, let me read this again. It represents the end of one cycle and the beginning of another new 28 day cycle the sun conjunct moon gives an invigorating burst of energy and initiative so this is an excellent time for making a fresh new start turning over a new leaf starting a new project you can also question old habits behaviors Beliefs as you search for a new inventive way to make progress in your life. This is super symbolic, guys. We're just coming out of Scorpio season. A lot of us been deep diving with going, wait a minute, this doesn't resonate with me. Wait a minute, you're not honoring and holding space um, in your heart center for me. A lot of people have been... Um, stepping into this and realizing that the people they've been in vibration with were not in the best interest of themselves. So this is a huge time for all of us. This last two, three weeks of Scorpio season felt like dark night of the soul for a lot of people. A lot of people went deep diving with going, wow, this is just too much. You know, surrender all of that to God, creator, source, and fill back up with I am worthy affirmations of self-love because that's where you're going to walk into your center you know we got to be drawing in the connection from all that is that we are into this heart center and not allowing other people's egoic behavior to pull us off really looking for a time where we are all about unity consciousness versus lack mentality competition fighting knocking each other off the knees another thing that's huge for the divine feminine is you know the feminine is a little extra something something whether it be in male or female but we're going to talk specifically about the woman for a minute the woman because we birth spirit and what comes out of our lips is so very important to hold ourselves accountable of the energy are we lifting ourselves up with love are we encouraging our brethren it's super important the november 26th new moon at four degrees which i find this too for representative of the body representative of gaia representative of your foundation your roots is most affected by because of mars in opposition to Uranus a very disruptive influence this is not to look be looked at as bad or good it's in your center what's going on in your life as above so below that wait a minute do I want to go forward as of today the present we will use the new moon on the 26th for example because new moons are all about that do I want to set forth on my path the same patterns the same behaviors, the same things that I've been living. And a lot of us is it's a no, we don't. And so the spiritual awakening is really allowing us to set new intentions. And although you might not be in action mode, it all starts with the inner processes that we go through, guys. The the chart of this Oh, they go in they go into the different aspects of the chart because I thought I printed it out to show everybody oh I did 
I don't know how well it'll show up in there. So a conjunct, conjunct, that's what a new moon is. The sun and the moon are directly next to each other. The new moon is dark, so it's the things that we don't see. And the full moon is when the sun is highlighting and the moon is lit up and, and, and highlighted in that brightness because the only time the only reason we even see the moon in a phase of a full moon is because the sun's reflecting on it well this dark moon is helping us to bring forth the things that are not seen that you've been processing that you've been shedding right the divine feminine in in, in our nurturing 28 date cycle for the women who have menstruation so the importance of the divine feminine and what we speak because every thought word action is prayer so are you lifting yourself up with love are you encouraging yourself that i'm worthy i'm a divine child of god i am part of christ consciousness meaning the christ not christianity um Yeshua is one of my guides and in my spiritual awakening, you know, my first 40 years of my life, I was completely confused by religion and I am free now of that. And I'm very thankful because we are all connected. We are all able to embody with this four degrees, new moon embody, um, what we want to set our intentions for coming forward because it's super huge. And a lot of us have been through a lot of dark night of the soul stuff. A lot of releasing things that are not for our highest good. A lot of awareness brought to, wait a minute, in my heart space, I love and honor all but the people and behaviors around me. Well, I encourage you to love yourself because the more you raise your vibration, the more that you will not draw in. If you send out to God, the universe, let's just say this because the mirror reflects, it's a reflection, you know, what is within us in the cosmos is reflected to us we create the reality that we're living and i used to be in a vibration of i'm not worthy which a lot of empaths are and that's where we're changing now that's my soul's purpose now that i'm awake i realize oh my gosh i wasn't loving myself this is why i drew in to my energy field the vibration of i'm not worthy okay i'll give you a man that shows you you're not worthy with betrayal, no respect, um, energetically, it's huge. So setting your, I'm going to just, I got so much I could just come out of my heart today. I did my prayer before I came on and I'm just like being filled with the Holy Spirit going, get on there. I trust that whoever this message makes it to, that it, it will be divinely guided to you to encourage you for self-love if you're not already on that path. So the centaur in Sagittarius, fire sign, rising higher, you know, and we got Neptune, which is kind of like a godly figure of the unseen and the all that is, and many different aspects of us to stop only going by the eyes, but going by our third eye and our connection with God, creator, source, and realizing that we're a part of that. And going through all these cycles, right, with the moon cycle and the feelings and the emotions to, to unpack them, never snuff them. Because I'm a firm believer that the only thing that we cannot heal is denial. So being really real and authentic with yourself and processing because heading into 2020, you know, this is almost like a huge epiphany for many of us to keep rising upwards keep trusting your intuition trust the unseen trust your feelings and your energy when you're around people listen to your body representative of a four degrees right you know in the body like i'm saying at four degrees with sagittarius it can also represent the passion um with that fire sign sag we all have four elements within us earth the body air the thoughts emo or the emo the thoughts the thinking process the water our emotions that's why the moon is always a huge important cycle we go through this everybody does even the males 28 days um 
and the fire being our passions and the allowing old things that do not serve for your higher good to burn away to allow the new growth because when you raise your vibration you're then sending out a ping right to god creator source of the universe that i am worthy so then your life shows that people come into your life that hold space to with you that don't have an obje objective who are lifting you up with love who are holding your hand when you're in the dark depths of grief or transformation or needing to cry they hold space for you they lift you up they're not in this competition and gossip and clucking and knocking you off at the knees they are wanting you to step into your light and they hold space for you always teach self-love that's what i do that's what i do to support myself now that i'm awake and others and starting to do what is really authentic to us and it's super important for us empath sensitives to walk into our authenticity you know many of us have dealt with digestive issues many of us have went by other people's programs and perceptions of us when you're like wait a minute they don't feel right so really allowing this process no matter what position and no matter what you're in feeling today to just keep trusting the process rising above <clears throat> to blaze a new path because really in the human experience life is too short to be tolerating disrespect from others disrespecting yourself and so we're all really just walking each other home and it's important to realize that there are two types of relationships gifting like the ones I just spoke about soul connections and karmic a lot of us came in to heal karmic wounds of family lineages and I know for me that's huge um, when I started walking into my authenticity the true colors of many people showed itself to me and so I had to say goodbye to some in the flesh so let's do some Oracle to inspire I hope everybody takes this time and just keeps rising above no matter what the layers trust the process that no how no matter how far down and deep you dive there is a new day that dawns please be gentle with yourself i do know this well i had a very young son transition i know not to take things for granted and um he was a sensitive soul this world didn't make sense to him with his eyes and his heart couldn't make sense of all the injustices and it was right in the own the own family as well so it's super important to love yourself first the society has always told people to be people pleasers to take into consideration everybody else's projections and feelings and i'm here to tell you let's do it a new way because the old way hasn't worked very well and so your biggest gift is your being a sensitive and an empath and being full of compassion. You know, we tend to have compassion even for assholes, but healthy boundaries is a must for us because we feel depleted by those who are takers endlessly because our cups are never getting lifted up and it's up to us to fill our own cups, but you can't be around people that are knocking you off at the knees, you know? It's not the way it was meant to be. So, mm. We're going to go with the Mystical Shaman Oracle first. God, Creator, Source, I call upon your divine presence and only the divine Christed white light to fill me up, to surround me. I feel the presence of your love and I actually ask for the guidance to be a clear communicator to uplift all of these beautiful sensitives. Allow them to feel the love within them that they are worthy they are love and that they are a gift to this world the andine cross at the center time is not linear it is in a circle continuum that circle very much so representative of god creator source card number two could indicate duality but this also also can indicate where where two or more are gathered so there you go hand in not only filling your own cup first but then you can be of service to others this right here is the whole we are all connected no matter where you're at in your life right now 
the center of who we truly are as co-creators, sparks of, is really where we're wanting to head back into the, the, the oneness consciousness. We're supported. We're divinely guided. Okay, so with that, let's put this one out. We're going to do a crystal angel oracle as well. What message is it, is it that we can step forward with with this new moon in Sagittarius, four degrees? What is it, God Creator Source, that you want these empaths, light workers, way showers to have a realization of? To set our passion on fire. Here we go. We got two cards from this one, and the first one is sensitive emotions. Well, here we are. That's the whole purpose of my empath channel. Times of heightened emotions and sensitivity call for extra self care. New moon phase. Emotions being represented by the moon, the feminine, the nurturing. Increase your self care. Don't become the emotions but definitely observe the emotions let things be revealed to you so you can step forward in your authenticity this green very representative of the heart space the heart is the window to the soul are you living your truth walking it be gentle with yourself that's a huge reminder divine intervention god sends miracles to answers and answers sincere prayers. This isn't about a material thing. This is asking you shall receive. If you're lost, if you're scared, surrender in your little mind's eye to God and go, I am scared, Father. I see the changes I need to make. I call upon you for the strength, the courage to do so. We are always divinely guided. Trust the process that we are all one consciousness, guys. That does not mean put up with bad behavior. You gotta love yourself. And when you love yourself, you'll raise in that vibration. You'll start calling in just by the ping and the energy you put out, soul connections, people that are gifting relations, you know, our brethren treating each other the way we're supposed to. We'll do another emotional moonology oracle for this message today. Yep. Prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. While well, Taurus is an earth sign, four is symbolic of the body. What happens when we sit with our emotions, not snuff them, increase your self-care, know that we're a glimpse of a bigger picture, that we co-create the life that we want. When you're raising your vibration, the prosperity is going to be very... Look at another one, green chakra... <laughs> the prosperity that will come to you are the gifting relationships. This ain't about material, guys. This is about embodying the life that we want instead of by going by other people's programs. I promise you this. You love yourself. You speak from your throat chakra from a heart-centered space, directly connected, those two chakras. You be in your authenticity, and you will see the difference because your vibration rises you will then call in gifting relationships. And with all of us going, healing south node stuff in Capricorn, all these fake foundations built on lies, falling away, north node in Cancer, very feminine, what we're wanting going forward. One more from the Archangel. We ask for another message to go along with this inspiration today. Which Archangel can be present with us? You can go directly to God. That's what I always do. But there are messengers from God as well. I love the Archangels. Archangel Michael helped me with boundaries. Archangel Raphael helps me still with grief that I carry of grieving my son. I'll go with this one. Remember who you are. Archangel Michael. Big guy. You are powerful, loving, and creative child of God. You are very loved. Hold that torch up. Allow the cords to be cut with all these karmic patterns so you're not incarnating with the same dynamics that you leave in this life path. What are you doing to change the lineage of karmic patterns? You are connection, God, creator, source, always, never can be severed. Work on all these karmic things to know, you know, no, I'm a child of God. This kind of behavior is not acceptable. I love myself. You are very loved and supported. 
I think that's a beautiful message for this new moon in Sagittarius. I send this to you with so much love and many blessings to you. Thank you for supporting me. Please do like, subscribe, hit the bell to get notifications. I am Deanna, an awakened empath. I love myself first. I'm in service to others by reaching my hands out to you and encouraging you to be a clear communicator and self-love first. Many blessings to you and namaste.